Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Michael of Planner Time with Michael. Thank you all so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul. I believe everything is from Hobby Lobby. And depending on how long the video takes, I may add in some other things that I bought from Steph's Design Space. But if the video is too long, I am not going to include those. I will do a separate video because I want to make sure I do those items justice. So... Again, this is from Hobby Lobby, and I'm filming this today is Sunday. I'm filming this today. Normally, I would do my catch-all planner today, but I want to use some of these items because they are for Valentine's Day, so I thought I would do the haul video first, and then probably tomorrow or Tuesday, I will post the catch-all planner. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. So these pens, these gel pens, they were $2.49, but they were 40% off. So I went ahead and bought them. I usually don't buy these, but you know what? I said, I'm there. I'm going to get them, try them out, see what happens. It's just four gel pens. Nothing, you know, to write home about. <laughs> and then they had these Valentine die, cut, die cuts, and they are all hearts. I noticed with a lot of their... Valentine stickers a lot of them were the puffy ones so I didn't buy a whole lot of Valentine stuff because like I said it's puffy and you know occasionally I may use them but if you use a lot of those in your planner it makes the planner real thick so but I decided to get these I think these are cute love the glitter gotta have the glitter girl okay now I also found these heart doilies I never buy these but I thought for Valentine's Day I bought a package of the red and the white, and I plan on, I think I'm going to use these. I mean, you could even cut them in half and put them on different sides, use the whole thing. Maybe I'll use these as boxes. I don't know, but I thought I would use those because it's something different. I never use these, so I thought I would give those a go. Okay, what else? We have these Valentine gemstones. I think these will be cool to use for a little bling bling or maybe in my gratitude journal I can do a valentine theme usually I don't do a valentine's day theme because you know I don't celebrate it because of course I'm alone so what reason would I have to celebrate it but you know what I thought this year maybe why not give it a go so we have these hearts okay then what do we have we ha oh we have these and let me see. Let me put these here because, you know, that's hard to see. Okay, but we have these like neon, neon love stickers. I thought these were really cute. Now, this probably won't go with something like this or this, but you know what? Who knows? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, but I saw these and I thought they were cute. So, and I can always save them. You know, like I said, for another spread or my journal. Love, love, love these. The epoxy hearts, like the rainbow colors. I love them. So I thought I would get these. And then this next item I have been eyeing. I've seen people using it for a very long time. And I wanted to give it a go. I didn't know that you could buy a cheaper one. And it does, I guess, the same thing. I don't know, but of course I have to go for the Mac Daddy. Okay, y'all ready? And voila, this Crocodile Hole Punch and Eyelet Setter. It was, this I did not get any kind of a sale on. It was $24.99, but on Amazon, when I kept looking, it was always $29.99, so I went ahead and bought it. Y'all, I've never used one of these. I really don't know how to do it. I'm going to give it a go because... In my tags, I want to start, I really like the way the eyelets look. So, of course, I had to get a couple packages of eyelets. Now, I have no idea sizes and whatnot. I have no idea. So, I'm going to have to experiment. I would like to get some other colors instead of just these silver. You know, I would like to get some colored ones. But when I look on Amazon, I think it says 3 millimeter, And I really don't know what size you know, what size is standard or what size you're supposed to use or, I mean, I'm sure you can use any size you want, but like looking at this, this looks tiny. Trying to get ribbon through there, this looks really, really small. 
So, I don't know. If y'all have any suggestions, if you use these, let me know the sizes you use. Because, like I said, I would like to get colored ones and maybe some, like, um, what is it? The antique bronze, I think, or just the antique vintage-looking ones. So, I don't know. But I'm, I'm excited to use this, but I'm also nervous because, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. So, I guess it gives you some directions and then there's a sheet in here so be on the lookout for me to start using this and let's continue okay and then i bought this this wasn't on sale or anything but it's card storage storage 99 cents you get 20 pieces the bags because i'm thinking i want to start i'm hoping to start making cards and seeing if i can take them to work and possibly selling them just for a couple dollars just to see how people like them and then you know I can keep them in here like I could have one for display and then I could put one in here that they actually purchase so that they get a new one and not something that's been you know handled by everybody so just a thought I don't know but 99 cents you know it's fine <laughs> and then let me get this paper back because I found this stamp set I probably have this I don't know, but I bought it because $1.99, you know, I feel like you can't go wrong, but these are, I think these will be pretty to use, and like especially this to like stamp it and then color it in, or attempt to, let's just see how it works, but like I said, $2, so we have that, and then I found this, these, I mean, 19 cents. This was on clearance. They are stickers, star student. And, you know, I like to hand these out sometimes, you know, on graded work or sometimes I surprise kids who are doing like a really, like their behavior is great and they are helpful or whatever. And I will put one on their desk. Like I have these star post-it notes. I'll write a little note to them and I'll put like a, a um, mechanical pencil or an eraser or something. So... Again, 19 cents. Yeah, I'll take it, you know, love it. Okay, then what, this one came from Amazon. This is a Fisker swivel knife. So I saw um, Steph from Steph Des Steph's Design Space use this on her live and she recommended it. So, you know, you put your finger through and it swivels. So... It should be easier to cut out like like detailed or intricate um, stickers, if you will. So, and I don't remember how much this was, but I mean, it wasn't much, I don't think. I can try, I'll link it in the description box. But, so I got that. That was from Amazon. And then back to Hobby Lobby. Okay, y'all ready for this? Okay. Fabric remnant. What in the world am I going to do with this? Well, I love the way this feels, y'all. Polyester, minky, I don't know what that means. I know nothing about fabric, but this feels beautiful. And what I thought is I would really like to cover a composition, altered composition notebook with this because, oh my gosh, I just love the feel. However, I have no idea how I'm going to do it because now I'm afraid when I cut this, it's going to fray. And so maybe I have to overlap it, like when I put it on the outside cover, fold it on the inside cover. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know how I'm going to adhere it because I really don't feel like buying more Fabri-Tac or glue or something. I have normal glue. I have the art glitter glue. I have the double-sided tape. I'm hoping something like that would work. I don't know. If you have any ideas or comments on that, please let me know because, like I said, I really want to use this, but... Now I'm scared and, you know, I don't want to muck it up because I think this would make a really nice cover for a for an altered composition notebook. So I got that. There were more, but I just bought one for now to try because, you know, if it turns out to be a disaster, then forget that. Okay. Oh, there's another stamp set. Okay. So I have this stamp set. It was on, it was, look at 1049 reduced to 272. And these are butterflies. I may even have this one. I don't know. I, I really need to take the time to organize all of my stuff so that I know what I have and what I don't have. But 
you know, I think this is cute. And again, for $2.72, why not? So, you know, because I can't resist a good clearance deal, apparently. And then, of course, more Tim Holtz collage strips. These are two, they're the same, but they were on clearance for $2.50. So I thought, why not? And these are just, let's see. Let's open these. I'll go quickly. I won't show them all, but just kind of so you get the gist of it. Um, they're like paper. It's like a good thickness, too. Collage strips. I don't know if you actually like collage with this. That might look nice. You may even be able to do like a, what do you call it when they put all these together? Like some kind of board and then you know, cut them, like cut squares out and put in your planner or something. I don't know. You could cut these apart. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I thought they were cool and they were on clearance. So I had to have them. You know what I mean? So let me put those back. I don't know, y'all. I'm going crazy with this stuff. Okay, and then next up, we have some in the jewelry. I've been seeing people posting these, so I had to, of course, go check it out because, you know, let me zoom in. Okay, so we have some charms, and these are pretty. The ombre glass leaf charms, 99 cents, so a dollar, originally five. But I thought these were cute to use, like, on tags or on um, bookmarks inside the alter composition notebooks or just regular bookmarks. I thought these would be fun to use. Y'all, I have so many charms. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. Maybe sometime I can make things and sell them. I don't know, but I got to start doing something with them. <laughs> and then I bought two of these. These say happy and they're kind of like glittery. I guess you call it. I don't know. And it was, what, nine, 74 cents, originally $3. So I got two of those. I thought those would be cute to use. Then I saw these. I saw people hauling these. So, of course, I had to have them. Originally $9 on sale, $2.24, so $2.25. But I thought these charms would be fun to use. Like maybe do a coffee-themed composition notebook or bookmark or whatever. So I like those, and I like coffee. <laughs> there was this Choose Joy. I don't know if you can see. It was originally two forty nine, dollars marked down to $1.12. And it says just a little Choose Joy charm. So I thought that was cute. I saw these, I don't know what you call them. I call them Dingle Dangles <laughs> on sale for $1.50. So I thought those would be fun to use in a you know, on a tag or bookmark or whatnot. So, you know, when I see all colorful, I love it because I love color. And then, okay, so here's another happy. Okay, I showed that one. Then I saw these moons. They were on sale, 74 cents, originally $2.99. So I thought I would give those a go. I think they're cute. I think these will be cute to use. Then these, of course, had to have these, 99 cents, so a dollar. These bring 80s vibes to me. Nostalgia, so I had to have that. I think those are fun. Then I saw these little clouds. I've seen people haul these before, 99 cents, so a dollar, originally four, but I thought these would be fun to use. So I got those. Then what do we have here? Then we have a bigger um, set of charms. This one, $9.99 on sale for $2.49. These are all stars. Some of them look like holographic. So I thought these would be fun. And you get a bunch of them. So I decided to pick that up. And then I saw these feather charms. And again, $8.99 marked down to $2.24. So I thought I would give those a go. I think these are kind of cool. These would be fun to use. And now I got to figure out ways of storing all this stuff. <sighs> but so be it. Now I just noticed this one's stapled together. Is this one? It is on the top and bottom. I don't know. I hope they're all there. 
But you know what? For 224, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, so that's that. Okay, and then for Joanne, I found some, just a few things. Um, I, I'm not crazy on going shopping at Joanne's anymore because you know what? Let me. They always give me a hard time with coupons. I don't know how people use coupons in there because when I go in, they always give me a hard time. And even people in front of me, I watch and, oh, you can't use it on this item. You can't use it on this because it's already on sale, which it's not. Like, I don't know. But in any event, I saw this. And these are just the, the small talk, the sayings. So I thought I would get those. You know, start doing things you love. Leave a little sparkle, where, sparkle wherever you go. And you get, a you know, a few pages of these. Those are all black quotes on the white paper. And then you have some of the white quotes on the black paper. So I thought that would be fun to use. And then I got another one. This one is small talk, but this one is called the snarky. So I think that's going to be fun to use. I am fabulous. <laughs> I may be wrong, but I doubt it. So I need a six month vacation twice a year. So I like this. And again, you get the white quotes or the black print on the white background. And then I believe there's the, yeah, the white print on the black background. So why limit happy to an hour? Love it. I've got it all together, but I forget where I put it. Forgot where I put it. <laughs> I love it. So, so we have that one. Those will be fun to use. Then this paper pack was on sale because it's Christmas. Let me... Open her up. Okay, so this is 36 pages of Joyful Christmas, Bo Bunny. It's what, is it, what size is this? Six by six. And I'm just gonna flip through it quickly, but it's a nice thickness. And it's just Christmas related. Hope you can see. Um, just Christmas related cardstock to use in planner spreads, rip it up or in, you know, put it around, cut it up, however you want to use it. And it looks like you get, what, two sheets of each one, something like that. So I thought that would be fun to use because, you know, I don't have enough Christmas scrapbook paper, apparently. Then these were on sale. I believe these were eight something, like eight dollars and some cents. But you, this is the Park Lane Flower Garden, and this book is huge. So let me see if I can get this one open. Okay, so Park Lane Flower Garden. Again, this one is enormous. But it's 180 sheets, and again, I believe it was, I don't know how much it, I want to say it was 20-something originally. 21, 26, but I believe it was 849. And just a quick flip through of the different pages you get in here. So I really like the colors in here and the print. So I picked that up because again, I can use these for multiple, you know, I can use them in my planner spreads, in junk journaling, um, my gratitude journal, making bookmarks, laminating these and using them as covers for my planners. So using them as dividers in a notebook and a planner. So I feel like I'm taking forever in a day, but you get the gist. I think those are really, really nice. So that one's called Park Lane Flower Garden. And then I think there's one more. Okay, and then we have the Park Lane Value Cardstock. This is just, you know, colored cardstock. A very nice thickness but you never know and this is double-sided you never know when you need this you know in the different colors for your planner spread for again junk journaling or whatever you want to do with it so I could make covers out of it you know put stickers on them or use them for um, 
card making, like if I need a certain color background. So I felt, and again, it was on sale. Normally 20 something, I think it was again, 849. So I thought this would be good. You know, and like I said, it's a good, you know, it's a nice thickness. And let me see, I believe that is it. So that is my haul from Joanne and Hobby Lobby, and then my one item from Amazon. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out as I'm trying to grow my channel. Again, for this contraption, please let me know if you have any um, ideas, like if you use these, what size do you use the same size eyelids or what size do you use more of? Because again, I bought these two, but I don't know. Like I said, I've never used it, so hopefully I'll learn how to use it. I'll probably have to do some test ones first, but, you know, I mean, these are cheap, 99 cents, but let me know sizes and if you've used these. And let me know if you have any favorite items in this haul. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope everybody has a fantastic week, and I can't wait to see you in another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.